So just a quick video to go over the HDRP import for the Tropico Forest Pack. So I have the TFP folder, Tropical Forest Pack, imported. So you see the folders, the folders are a little different than the previous versions, but we have the on um, we have the standard, which is is going to have everything in the demo scenes, the prefabs, the materials, the shaders. Then we have the audio imports and textures folder, and this is just for mainly in development, setting up all these render pipelines, made it easier. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to load in the showcase demo scene, and it's broken. Oh no. Oh, don't worry, we'll fix it. All right, and another note, you are going to get errors. Um, I don't, I'm sure Unity is not happy about this when reviewing the asset, but there's not much I can do about that because, you know, the shaders are initially broken when in another render pipeline. So what I'm going to do about that is I'm just going to unpack the HDRP. So, of course, if you're in universal render pipeline, you'll unpack that. If you're in lightweight, in the previous version, you'll unpack the lightweight render pipeline package. But we're high on high definition, so we're going to load in the HDRP. So I'm just double clicking on that package. And I'm just going to, by default, you shouldn't have to do anything, so I'm just going to press import and let it unpack. I'll press yes, reload. And there we go. Everything is working. Every time I, I do this, I'm a little scared because <laughs> I did a lot of testing on it and it did not like to work most of the time. But it is working now. Made sure it, it is. So we have some things. Um, we have the rocks have a nicer like detail look to them. I did some edits on the bark, but mostly is the render pipeline support. So we have some nice... Um, nice effects in this. There are some issues with HDRP. Primarily that I noticed is, um, at least with the shader currently, we don't have a way to mask the translucency on a shader. So for instance, what I mean by that is I, I painted or baked areas that I don't want to be lit, backlit by, you know, incoming light. So we could see here, the bark should be pretty dark compared to, you know, kind of matching the actual bark model, but it's having translucency go through it. So it is broken in that sense, but that's just how HDRP, at least what I'm told, how it works. And there's not much to do about that. So it, it, to me, it doesn't look as nice as on um, URP or standard Unity, but of course you get all the nice effects with high, high, defini high definition render pipeline. I've even done some playing around with ray tracing, so that's pretty fun. All right, so let's load a demo scene. First thing I'll let you know on, there is a readme on a few things, including, so we have the, um, the original readme, and we have the um, Vegetation Studio readme about the package to unpack for if you're using Vegetation Studio, and then the script will render pipeline readme, which just goes over what I just went over. So let's load a demo scene. I'm going to go into standard demos and go to forgotten ravine. All right. So I up the fog on this one because I want it to be a lot more mysterious, a lot more atmospheric. I do love the um, biometric lighting in the HDRP. Very cool. I know you get similar effects in standard, but it's just nice to finally have an out of box solution that you don't usually get with Unity, so it's very pretty to see. All right, I'll just, um, where's the camera at? All right, I'll just bring that out. There are some you might want to disable. In the render pipelines, I don't have the um, water effects working. So the waterfall and the um, on ponds, they aren't working at the moment. I do plan on updating them soon. It's just because previously I used Shader Forge and Shader Forge isn't supported by the developer anymore. So I, I'm sure the community probably is working on it, but I'm just gonna have to use something that's officially supported and that supports on scriptable render pipelines. So at the moment I don't have the that working. But I would press play, but the waterfall sound's gonna play and it'll probably <laughs> be a little too loud. And I'm not sure where the audio file is. Let me see. Uh, here we go. So yeah, let me just disable those waterfalls. There we are. 
this is quick to play. Alrighty. Very nice. Cool. So, yep, here's Tropical Forest Pack in high definition render pipeline. There might be issues. This is kind of new to me, getting it working in it. But, um, yeah, just contact me at the email provided and it should work fine now. Also, errors. Yeah, so now that we unpack the um, high, defini re high definition render pipeline, we're just getting some minor errors about um, maybe a missing script, some game objects with fire lights that don't have scripts, probably the animation script, and also just our mesh collider on, on the trees that are on the terrain. But yeah, you shouldn't have any critical errors, and if you do, of course, contact me. Alright, cool.